All right, so this year in 2024, our message for the year is the Great Reset. And right after I felt like I got that message from the Lord for this year of 2024, I was listening to some teaching actually from my own book, Seven Days of Jesus, on the year of Jubilee and how the year of Jubilee was like a great reset in Israel. People were restored to their inheritance. All debts were forgiven. All debts were canceled or wiped out. And I've been thinking about that a lot as we go throughout the year this year. And a couple of weeks ago, this verse in Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 2, talking about the Jubilee. It says, they shall not require any payment from anyone among their own people, because the Lord's time for canceling debts has been proclaimed. And that verse just seemed like it kind of jumped off the page of me. It says, the Lord's time for canceling debts has been proclaimed. His time has been proclaimed. Now, something I want you to think about is that Jesus is your jubilee. He is the fulfillment of the jubilee. So in him, we have this promise. All the promises in him are yes and amen. The Lord's time for canceling debts has been proclaimed. And so we're going to take communion over this, asking God to walk in the fullness of this promise that he's given us here. But Heavenly Father, we're just so grateful grateful to have you in our lives grateful for jesus and we just i pray for everybody who's watching or listening their families their friends everybody connected to them and all of our church and governmental leaders and i thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light into the kingdom of your dear son i thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in christ jesus before time ever began and that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed all so that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And Father, I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us. And the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us. And the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead. You seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion. And every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. To make a face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us. So we do good and are blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal. And do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> so Father, we're so grateful for this promise. What an amazing promise is that your, your time for the canceling of debts has been proclaimed. We're asking for your help to understand this, to receive this, to walk in the fullness of this promise that you've given us in Christ. And we're believing that as we break the bread today, it will just be any breaking of any patterns of debt in our life. Letting those go as we take the cup, we'll be just activating this, this promise that the cancellation of debt has been proclaimed. We thank you the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and he said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Just thank you for this opportunity to remember. Let's go ahead and take our bread. 
Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. And my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. I just thank you that we get to have this covenant relationship with you, Father. Let's go ahead and take our juice. All right, let's talk about some practical application to our health and fitness. So the world has taught us a way of physical exercise that puts your body into debt where you have to really recover for a long time before you can do the next workout. There's a debt that has to be paid to recover from the workout. But there's a way to work out that's more gentle. Taking a more gentle approach allows you to train more frequently because you're not going into debt and you can train more often. Therefore, you can actually make faster progress if you're willing to do the work because you can train more frequently and make more rapid progress. But keep remembering God's with you. He loves you and nothing's impossible for him.